What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of trout fishing at one of my favorite locations. The cold hit. The cold hit hard. So I'm wondering if I can get some active trout here um, before it gets super, super cold. I might even be able to pull out some smallmouth in here. I've caught a lot of both in this location. It's one of my favorite spots to fish. I'm back in Pennsylvania today. I'm running both a fly rod and my spinning rod. Hopefully I can get something. So let's have some fun. Let's catch some fish. All right, so like I said, I'm using both my fly rod and my spinning rod. These things are both awesome. However, I'm significantly better with a spinning rod. I'm far from proficient with the fly rod. So we're gonna try in here first with the spinner. We'll try to just put anything on, and then as the day goes, try to work the fly rod here. Didn't see anything chasing it. A lot of nothing. We little minnows going after it, but it's about the extent of it. I want to take a walk out. I don't know, unless they're hiding within those rocks up there. There's a whole lot of rock action through there that some trout or smallmouth could be within. I see a couple little chases. What do we get? I think it's a wee little, what in the world? Wee little creek chub? Wee little creek chub, okay. I was like, what in the world is that? Yeah, okay. So everybody, here we go. I'm going to do my best to explain this day of fishing. It was, it, it was a really difficult day of fishing for me. The water conditions were just so incredibly low. Um, something about the temperature change and everything just kind of seemed to turn everything off. The water was crystal clear, so I feel like unless you really were able to sneak up on them or get to some of these deeper pockets, it was, it was pretty well non-existent. So what you're seeing here is I'm taking a far walk back into the woods here, which is right along the stream, and it was about, well, about a mile or so back away from my car and everything. And, you know, I kind of dropped off my gear in my car to just kind of go see what was what and um, I don't know why I dropped out some of my gear but I decided to get back to this amazing area that I've had phenomenal luck at before that has beautiful holes awesome holdover and has had really great smallmouth fishing opportunities for me and really great trout opportunities for me but pretty much what happened was it, it just it was just not working out this day and I was casting I worked my way from the bottom of the hole all the way up here to the top of the hole in these riffles and I was really just trying to get just about anything on I saw nothing I saw no follows and you could pretty well see the whole way across the stream bed I mean I was walking out a little bit further into the stream probably more than I should have walked into the stream but it, it just it didn't seem to matter these fish were just I don't know if they were just hiding, if they were just in different parts of the stream, if they were just, just wanted nothing to do with what I was throwing at them. I did take a couple of casts with my fly rod as well, but I just, I, I, I mostly used my spinning rod through these holes. But, you know, here in a little bit, I got pretty tired of being here. So I did walk back up to a different section of this stream and I did try out my fly rod a little bit more through some riffles that I saw that I thought would be really beneficial. And I was happy with my results there. So. We'll get back to what I did with my fly rod here, and I'm really happy with what you're about to see. So there is a hole right here. I would like to throw a little woolly bugger through. <laughs> Just use the wind to absolutely take this upstream. Oh, I had a, I had a fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, fish on, baby. Yeah. Forget how to do a fly rod for crying out loud. Very cool. He's a beautiful brownie. Beautiful brown, and of course, I don't even have my net with me. Gosh, dang it. Oh man. Okay, I don't have my net with me. Bring him here, keep that tension tight. 
dude you are gorgeous see you buddy very cool I can't believe I didn't have my net on me gosh darn it all right I'm gonna go get my net I swear like I go fishing all the time and then I just forget the stupidest things I forgot my net I didn't wear my fishing vest I'm like oh, okay um, literally set my vest down by my car <sighs> man my ability to lose my cool sometimes is almost impressive. Seriously, it's impressive. So the goal pretty much is to salvage this last little bit of this hour today. And I do want to get a fish on with either the spinning rod or the fly rod. I'm hoping I can salvage this. I've got about an hour left of daylight here. And once that's gone, the day's done. We've only got really one fish on the board so far. You know, some days are like that. You know, these are not great conditions. It is, um, it's low. Now I did decide to move to an entirely new stream here. Try to work something out. I still have my fly rod. I still got my spinning rod and we're going to try to salvage this. I've got about an hour left of daylight. And I'm wondering if just maybe I can pull something out here. These are just not great conditions. Can't tell if I was getting some hits right there, just hitting on the bottom. One of my more favorite sections to fish. I almost always have some really good luck here. I, there's a fish. Got him on the spinner. The old white rooster tail. And he is a gorgeous little, little bunny. Oh, if I can get down to the stream. Hold my hands. We're going to get him up here. Dude, you're awesome. Team stats out. And honestly, I'm just gonna pop you off here. See you, buddy. All right, man. Very cool, happy with that. We're salvaging the day. Two brown trout on the day. So, some days are just like that. Some days are just slower than others, and it is what it is, man. Um, got one on the spinning rod, one on the fly rod. Both gorgeous brown trout. One was a nice size, real nice colored up. The other was a little bit smaller, but still really pretty. Uh, beautiful colored up got those back real quick easy it is what it is so either way we had a good time today we got out we had some slight luck in some tough low water conditions but it was definitely a good time and um anyway everybody out there best of luck keep tight lines remember even jesus had a fishing story